Some of Denmark's most important banks have asked the government if they will offer them help and protection against the country's bail-in law. Denmark's largest lender, Danske Bank, believes the extra capital costs they face should be matched by an official guarantee of state support. Danske chief financial officer stated, We are very concerned about the fact that the legal wording is different to the extent that our rating is suffering. Last week, Moody said Danish banks and their capital needs will hinder rating upgrades. Maintaining its one notch in Moody's systemic support analysis, Denmark's neighbour Sweden, which has an explicit government guarantee, has three notches. Danske's main complaint is that the lower rating creates funding costs at a very difficult time, as right now they need to focus on increasing more capital. In order to fulfil the sci-fi requirements, Danske believes it needs to maintain 17.6% of risk-weighted assets in capital by 2022. At the end of March, the bank posted a regulatory capital of 21.6%. This included 3% state hybrid debt. Steen Egaard, head of Group Treasury at Jiska Bank, revealed the state may be cautious about becoming explicit because then it would become a liability. But for the banks, it would be an indisputably good thing to go in the direction of an explicit guarantee. Danish banks have found it difficult to assure investors they are safe as sentiment diminished when the country became the very first EU country to push losses on senior bank creditors as part of a resolution framework. The failure of Amager Banken in 2011 had a huge negative impact on banks. It meant the majority of banks were cut out of funding markets as creditors were anti-Denmark's bail-in law. The proposals which have yet to be passed by lawmakers mean the measures will help protect taxpayers from losses should a sci-fi get into difficulty. Michael Moeller, chairman of the committee, said The committee felt that the state shouldn't give a guarantee, binding for all future, completely independent of the situation. As far as I remember, Sweden is the only country that has given such a strong guarantee. The Danish government has recently said it is committed to protecting investor sentiment and is focusing on ways to stimulate the economy. The central bank cut rates on Thursday by 10 basis points to 0.20%. It also left the door open to future rate cuts. The national bank aims to keep its currency steady within a narrow band against its euro counterpart. Well viewers, that is it for right now. But next week, my colleague Navjeet Garawal will be bringing you an update on Denmark, so make sure you tune in for that. But for now, have a great weekend.